Almost one million people a year in the UK are diagnosed with concussion. The most common cause is road traffic accidents, but sport isn't far behind and it's becoming increasingly common in motorsport. The British Touring Car Championship is at the forefront of a drive by the FIA and Cambridge University to develop effective diagnosis and treatment of the condition. But what is concussion and how much do we know about it? People don't, they see you at a racetrack, but they don't see what happens when the driver goes home and you're having these big headaches and your memory starts to go and your focus and concentration. Coming back to the circuit from the hospital with my dad and I asked her, has everyone got my kit or my helmet and everything, has everyone got that? Five minutes later I asked the same. It's having some insult to the head, whether it's a bang on the head or a violent rotation that leaves you a bit phased and a bit sort of headachey, confused, double vision, aggressive, sleeping too much, not sleeping enough. And that's the problem. It's not like breaking your arm where you can see it. You can have concussion without losing consciousness. So, we, we, you know, we've seen that in football and rugby where there's a bang to the head. You're transiently confused, a bit disorientated, but not necessarily knocked out. We also know that concussion can occur without a direct blow to the head, but purely from the acceleration, deceleration forces that are seen at the point of an impact. The research has been facilitated by an FIA-funded scholarship named in honour of a man to whom many drivers owe their lives. Professor Sid Watkins, affectionately known as Prof, was Formula One's pioneering head of medical care. In 2018, I had the Sid Watkins Scholarship, which is a joint medicine and engineering scholarship, and that allowed me to understand the interface between the FIA, um, medicine, motorsport and engineering. And the FIA have now fully supported and funded this project. The Rescue Bracer project is about increasing our understanding of brain injury in motorsport and trying to improve the treatment and guidance for drivers who've had such an injury, getting drivers back to racing safely and as soon as possible. One of the main aims of the Rescue Racer programme was to find a diagnostic tool for concussion um, and there are two tools that really might fall into that remit. The first one is the, the 3D headset, iPass. That currently takes eight minutes. And the other option is taking um, some kind of body fluid sample. So we may even be able to tell just from a spit sample. It was the, the, the accident I had in September 2017 at Silverstone um, where I got knocked out and um, it was really a symptom that had sat there over the winter, thought I was okay to go racing. Every time I got in the car I kept getting headaches in 2018. Then we had a little crash here in race one and um, it just triggered off so the, the, the concussion was still sitting there festering waiting for another uh, situation. I had one here actually at uh, Snetterton 2014 which wasn't a big crash at all. I got out of the car thinking well, I'll be out for free practice too and then realised I wasn't feeling quite right and pulled out of the last race and uh, as a driver that's a hard thing to do. One of the most useful things is the in-car cameras because we can see the drivers and what raised alarm bells a few years back was some of the uh, support series where they had what looked like not massive accidents but a few days later when we started looking at the footage we'd see people obviously unconscious for maybe 10 seconds and then they'd recover and then the marshals would get there and you could see them saying, you know, are you all right, are you okay? And they go, yeah, I'm fine. It's a project of known unknowns. Investigating concussion is as much about finding out what we don't know as what we do. But what starts in the world of high-end science and technology will eventually become crucial to everyday life, not just on the racetrack, but for anyone who's ever picked up the keys to a car hopefully improve the management of this condition for everybody in terms of, of road traffic accidents and other causes of head injury. So some of the findings I'm sure will also apply to road traffic accidents on the public road and hopefully we'll be able to improve the treatment diagnosis uh, for, the, for these people too.